I finally did my laundry. I had so many, <laughs> I had so many things. This little bag on the floor. This is what my room looks like at the moment. I'm kind of just not cleaning it because I'm like, what is the point of cleaning if I'm gonna move soon? But I'm getting really overwhelmed. Oh, anyway. This somehow feels too white. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I think I'll do this as an accent wall, the middle one for like my living room space, and then this one for the bedroom space. I think. I'm actually not entirely sure. Please look at how gross the windows are. This bag is full of just like gross window residue. I don't know if no one's cleaned this apartment since it was made. Literally, let me show you. Look at this. You saw me do one swipe.
this. So after all the cleaning and renovations were done, that's when I decided to go start looking for furniture very slowly. I knew some of the basic things that I needed, like a work desk and bookshelves, but something I was really struggling with was the layout because I wanted to have a designated workspace and I also wanted to have a lot of space for my cats to hang out. So I ended up hiring someone on Fiverr to kind of create like a mock layout for me before I started really buying a bunch of furniture. I sent pictures of my apartment and a style guide and this is what I got. When looking at it like this, it made it a lot more obvious to me what I do and do not want in my apartment. I want my living room to be more work focused because now that I have a separate bedroom, that can be my rest area. So I don't really want a living room that just has like a giant couch and like a tiny table. And then for my bedroom i also want it to be a lot more cat focused than this is i just need a bed but my cats should be enriched because i care more about them than my own comfort so with some of these things in mind i went off to the thrift store to look for some items A good mirror and then shit. Perfect. I mean, now it'll fit, right? Yeah. I'm now trying to fit all of this in a really large mirror that is almost my height into the back seat of my really small car. vinegar soap water solution is really good. I'm just enjoying some watermelon for my little break, but I'm using antiseptic wipes and that's taking out more stains as well. So this is going well. Okay, I have scrubbed and scrubbed. A lot of the stains are gone. You can see some like wet spots from like where I was really focusing. So I'm done scrubbing for now. I thought these were bed bugs at first, but they're not. It's just like the foam underneath is like weird and textured. But anyway, um, I don't know how to go about fixing this. I'll deal with that later. For now, I'm going to... After purchasing some furniture and getting a more clear idea of the aesthetic that I want and dimensions that I'm going to be working with, I contacted another designer to kind of help me plan out a layout with my pre-existing furniture and then furniture that I just purchased. Using stuff I learned from the last designer, I requested more cat space and a larger work area. And this is what I got. I'm pretty pleased with it and I think this is pretty similar to what I'm going for. As you can see, the designers even got my floor right, which was pretty cool to see. And they also offered me a revision, giving me another placement for my table. As you can see, there is no TV as I requested and they focused more on giving me a cohesive work slash resting space and within the next few videos you'll get to see how i used all of this to put my apartment together so thank you guys for watching see you next time bye